I think one of the reasons that I like going to Disney so much as a millennial is that it feels like Disney is one of the only things that I was raised with in my childhood that hasn't actually made a big promise and let me down. And I'm not actually talking about that whole happily ever after Prince thing. I think I mean that millennials were taught this whole version of the American dream, pull yourself up by your bootstraps, that it didn't matter where you came from, what your parents did. If you worked hard and got into a good college, and man, did I work hard. I had straight A's most of the time honor society officers of tons of clubs the musical i graduated fifth in my class of a public high school so it wasn't like a tiny tiny class or anything i got a scholarship i did the work hard i i got into the good school i did all the things that i was supposed to and yet i am in <laughs> crazy amounts of student debt. I couldn't afford to have children if I wanted to. I don't know if I'll ever be able to buy a house. It just feels like we keep running and running and running and working our hardest as, as a whole generation. And we just keep getting hit with one thing after another. It turns out we've just been running in place on a treadmill the whole time, not going anywhere. But Disney, Disney told me that if I gave them my money, unlike the schools that said if I gave them my money, I would have this great life. Disney just made this promise that if I gave them my money and I went to their park, I would have a fun time. There would be great attention to detail and there would be nostalgia for my childhood. And they have never let me down on that to this day. I think some part of it is the fact that everything else that millennials grew up with has let us down. Disney hasn't really. It's still doing exactly what it promised in the commercials that I watched as a kid where I begged my parents to take me to Disney World. And it's still just as magical.